when it comes to serving others, we serve ourselves best, right? Um, or we serve ourselves first. So I, I really resonate with that because another thing that I know and I've read and um, truly believe is that the struggles we have have enabled us to pursue certain strategies and resolutions that we can share with others. And so it's not from a place of just serving others, but you've served yourself first and knowing yourself and knowing that you came out through that difficulty, then you can see others coming out of that difficulty. And our voice doesn't speak to everyone, right? We're going to have our unique audience that we're going to attract and speak to because we're all so unique and people have a multitude of different needs and each person was designed to bring a solution into a space that is different, right? And mm -hmm. our gifting is for us, it's without repentance and it's not going to be taken away. And we all give it differently because it's we all learn and, and acquire and uh, are receptive in different ways, right? And so I just want to honor that, that it is about serve yourself and, and know yourself and, and know what it is that you had to struggle through and the things you've learned and bring that out of this authentic um, desire to help others because you've experienced that pain and that tragedy or that difficulty yourself. And when you can do that, what you're offering is something really integral, right? Your integrity is all over that because it's come from a place of, I know what it's like. I'm not producing a product that's counterfeit. I'm actually giving you my solutions that I've walked through and I've wrestled with. And so they're birthed out of this authenticity uh, that's happened in my life. And I think that's really key. And I love that we get to share with the world and even to the point of monetizing some of the things that we struggled with, right? Like you get to design a product, right? Let's say we're designing pens or whatever, but it's serving someone that that needed that, that couldn't come up with that creativity. And so we get to, when it comes to our calling, serve people and give of what we have and the things that might seem really simple and easy for us, but to other people, they haven't found the answer. And so they are just able to receive and to glean from us. And I think that's such a gift. It's a gift to us. It's a gift to them. Um, and our calling is really something special to really cultivate and to know that it's okay to show up differently. It's okay to be fully yourself. And we talked a little bit about how important it is to know yourself, to know who you are, because you're going to come up against. And I was even thinking, um, you know, the other day there was something that happened and there was a bit of like um, thoughts back to my past, right? And who I used to be and the things that happen. And, and there was this like, you know, tendency almost like within myself, the sensory sensation of wanting to pull back, right? And to hide. Because when we recall our past or when we go back to a memory that didn't serve us, we can sometimes go, oh, like, who do I think I am? You know, after you do all this work and you come to a new place and it's foreign to you, um, sometimes those, those old thoughts will try and pull you back and say, no, 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 that's not who you are. I, you know, come back to who you were because it's so familiar. And so as we know ourselves and appreciate and honor the work we've done, we're able to then really stand in that place of newness and how we're, you know, transcending, honor that transcendence and allow it to evolve beyond our wildest imagination. And that's how we're able to give more fully of ourselves because that transcendence and as we seek authentically to grow ourselves, that will get rid of things that get in the way. And our obstacles often are, you know, ego. Our ego gets in the way and it's about me and I can't lose this and I can't take that risk and what are people going to think? And it's all so much of our ego that gets in the way of us pursuing the things that are really on our heart and that we're purpose to do. And so yeah. getting past that and seeing, oh, I, I can just stand in this place. I don't need to be justified by anyone else because I know the work I've done. I know and I was present with the struggles and the difficulties and I was present with the um, work that I undertook to see myself over the other side. And so I'm constantly reminding myself, no, 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 you deserve to be here and to move forward from here.